Okay, we're starting recording. So like I said, for those of you who sat through um, any of our business or compensation class, this one has some similar information, but it also has some different stuff. So encourage anyone in your team who has listened in to any of our classes before to just listen to this again, especially after we have recorded it. We are going to put it onto the OneDrop private Facebook group so that um, it can be shared around and people can kind of listen in to new information. Okay, um, just a little bit information. We have more people coming up right now in terms of the Zoom ethics. Okay, um, I know some of you will begin to try to fiddle around. There is a mechanism where you end up just drawing on the screen, so don't anyhow draw anything because when you draw, everybody else is going to see it. Um, there is also a function at the bottom of your little <coughs> pop-up box that allows you to raise hand. It looks like a sign like this, okay, graphically drawn. Usually, it, that's towards the end when we're asking for questions. If you click that, you raise it. We can either unmute you to hear what questions you have or you can type it out, okay? So then you can just kind of lower your hand so that we know, oh, okay, maybe that's a mistake. You didn't mean to actually talk to us. Okay, that's all. So let's start. Um, I'm going to click into screen share so you can see our slides today. Oh. Well, okay, so while Kai is at it, um, today may be a little bit more interactive than our usual uh, Zoom classes. So how we're going to do it is we're going to make use a little bit more of the group chat function. Uh, so if you could just find around, okay, if you can find a group chat, you realize that you can talk to basically everybody in this group. So if you manage to find a group chat, um, maybe what you could do is uh, just say hi to everybody. Yeah, like introduce yourself, where you're from, Singapore, Indonesia. We have a lot of people from Indonesia today, right? So you could just uh, type in your name and a little bit, there you go, Rachel's got it. Okay, so if you found it, just introduce yourself over there while Kai is sharing the screen. Okay. I'm done sharing the screen. <laughs> okay, so very quick introduction for, as, as you guys continue to type, um, to who we are in case uh, we, we really haven't met every single person that is registered on the class. I've looked through the list, lots of new names, which is really exciting. Um, I'm Kai. I'm not sure, I'm Kai, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So, um, we are both founders of OneDrop together with Jack and Janet, and I've been using Young Living since 2007. And for those of you who actually do know me or have met me before, know that um, like many, many people, I did not come into Young Living thinking that I would ever build this as a business. But as it is, it landed on my lap. And then one thing led to another. Um, I began to realize that there was a purpose for me to be in this and to help other people find a reason why they are sharing this, um, how this could help themselves and help other people. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Sheena. I'm the cuter one, all right, between the two of us. <laughs> um, Okay, uh, I came into Young Living um, not as a business person. Uh, I have used the oils and it works for me just like many of you. Uh, it has worked for my family as well. Uh, but along the way, what got me uh, really interested in the business itself was the ability to, uh, uh, like, like I'm able to teach people um, about leadership. I'm able to witness people uh, standing up, you know, shining, getting out of their comfort zones, feeling uh, a little bit more about themselves seeing them serving one another and that's uh, really exciting for me uh, and it's always worth uh, seeing so that's why um, I'm also in the business uh, um, when I'm not doing anything young living most of the time uh, I will also be doing leadership trainings mostly for the young adults in Singapore so that is also something that drives me as well so um, we're gonna in a while we'll be talking about what drives you Right? Because when it comes to business, it's important to um, be aware or um, start exploring what would be uh, bigger, what would be more exciting for you other than just the money part itself. Yeah. Okay? Okay. And also just to add on, um, today is a little bit more technical. So we do talk about some of these, what's driving you, but it's a little bit more technical because we want to 
help you either you are very very new in the young learning business and we want to help you be able to start on the right steps or you are already beginning to have a team and you want to be get to be able to teach them how to be able to build a successful business so it's technical like step by step etc okay so that's how it's going to pan out um so just a quick overview of what we will cover today. We will look at your financial and life goals that matters to you, not to me, to you. Young Living Compensation Plan terminologies, especially for the people who are very new, we want to drive that home so you are beginning to be familiar with all that. <clears throat> We're going to talk about the concept of the empowering tree. Fast start bonus, some of you have heard of it before. Don't really know what it means. I'm going to show you some numbers um, to explain why we want people to learn about the fast start. The second bonus we're going to look at is called the rising star bonus. Trust me, I used to think that that's not an important thing at all. I had built my business completely without the fast start. Obviously, at that time, that is oh sorry, uh, rising star bonus. There wasn't even that, but when they began to introduce this about two to three years ago. Um, it really was probably maybe about two weeks ago that I forced myself to look at it and I realized that, oh my goodness, Young Living has thought through everything for a business builder. So you want to learn that as well. We're going to cover the very quickly, not in details, the Elite Express program that Young Living is launching. And if you've not heard us talk about it, OneDrop has its own Elite Express Jumpstart. And we want to explain to you what's the difference. And last but not least, we're going to have you just quickly look at some action steps, how that looks like when you put everything together in kind of like a month-to-month -month basis. Okay? <laughs> okay, so let's go straight into it. Um, financial and life goals that uh, matter to you. Let's look at this. Huh? Okay, um, in a moment, I'll be giving you a few tiers of uh, possible extra income. All right, um, let me move this back so you're not distracted by it. So in a moment, I'm going to give you a few tiers of possible extra income. And as we're going through the different tiers, uh, our request is for you to start um, thinking what you would do, what may be possible, what you would do with this uh, extra cash at hand, okay? Do you want to uh, also interact? They can. Yeah. They okay. Time. So, uh, okay, on, on the top of my head, right, um, I think what would be valuable is, as we're going through the different tiers, is for you to uh, interact with one another in the chat. So all you need to do is, as I'm showing you, okay, so for example, I go, what will you do with $50 extra every month? Okay, And then you'll go to the group chat and then just type in very quickly. Um, I will, uh, I, what will you do with extra, extra $50 every month, Kai? Take my mother for a good meal. Oh, that's a good one, right? Every month, all right? So we'll start interacting with one another in the group chat itself. Okay, so let's go to the first tier. Oh, by the way, what's going to happen is this. At some point, as the different tiers are showing up, there may be a part of you that go, um, is that possible? Or oh, I don't think I'll ever have that money. Or oh, I'm not sure how am I going to get that money. Now, we're going to uh, request for you to not think about that. So just stay present. Okay? Imagine if we just give you that amount of money. Instinctively, what's the thing that will come to your head? <clears throat> okay, let's go. So first tier. If you had $186 extra every month, what would you use it for? Okay, I'm going to give you a bit of examples here. It's possible for you to, okay, put into your child savings, spend on shopping, bring family out for one good meal a month, right? Or, you know, having that $180 a month would be able to subsidize my young living, 100 PV expenses. Rana just says she's going to stop frankincense. Oh, hundred and eighty dollars! You're gonna stop frankincense. That's a very good choice of oil, by the yeah. way. All right, how, how about you, Kai? Um, hey, this one I write one. Oh, so all this okay? <laughs> Except so, that I don't have a child, but you know, like um, that whole bringing family out, family is very important to me. 
um, to be able to go, hey, you know, um, this month I can take everybody out for an extra nice meal. Yeah, yeah that, that really matters to me. Uh, I have a half brother and half sister and they, uh, I brought them to go-karting once and they absolutely loved it. So if I had $100, $180 extra every month, I would bring them once every month. I think that would make a big difference to them. Okay, and by the way, um, so just for everyone who's coming on as we're going through some of these numbers, um, feel free to type in in the group chat, $180, like Ether just, just typed in, buy and share more oils with friends. Um, help people begin to think what those extra money can be used for. Mm -hmm. So every time you participate in a group chat, it helps somebody else to think as well, okay? So next year, if you had $240 every month, what would you use it for? Maybe it's possible to pay off a credit card interest or send. Your, oh, it's not your child. You have no children, right? Just, I think of my needs. Oh, your needs. Okay. <laughs> so send, send, send my child uh, to, for a class that he or she wants or right, subsidize my young living 100 PV expenses again. And like what Ethel said, buy some more for all those, uh, mm. for somebody else who's in need. You're all very kind. I want to buy wild products for people. It's okay to tell me you want to buy more shoes, okay? So when I was in one of um, live class and I put it out there like 180 or 240 and people were just going like, I want to buy more shoes. And I'm like, cool. If that's what excites you, okay, man, it's okay to say you want to buy more <laughs> shoes. Okay. All right. So the next year. Oh. If you had $580 extra every month, what would you use it for? Oh, Adrian will sponsor a dog at a shelter. Wow. Super. Okay. So take a nice small holiday possible. Huh? Like $580 would be a small holiday first. Or hire a helper to help parents or family at home. Mm -hmm. right. uh, not only help my own family, but also my parents to enjoy the oils and supplementary products. Mm, uh, somebody says save for year end vacation. Yeah, five hundred eighty to six hundred dollars a month extra can make a lot of difference. Yeah, to having something at the end of the year to go for a really good holiday. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, hire a helper. Yeah. Okay. Now, I gotta turn the heat up a bit. The next year, if you had ah uh, two thousand dollars extra every month, what would you use it for? Okay. So just pause for a moment. Mm. So just notice if you start going into, oh, 2000, I don't know how, you know, how am I going to get it? So again, put it aside and just think about this. If $2,000 was on your lap every month, what would you want to use it for? Okay, Kai, what do you have? Um, well, let me look at what I've written okay. previously. Ah, ah, it's possible to pay for a better car? Yeah, you can, you can really be able to... Um, buy a car and be able to pay for monthly installment without having to flinch you know like in singapore it's really expensive but having that money be provided that's that's really cool yeah uh oh somebody kim just said gloat to her hubby haha -ha, i have two thousand dollars <laughs> sponsor a child that's really cool yeah, absolutely. yeah so many people in this world could really do with our help in so many ways yeah okay so, um, be able to give back consistently to the community, invest in more reading materials. All right, okay, great. So now, we're not done yet. The next tier. If you had $7,000 extra every month, what would you use it for? This is usually when people go, how can that happen? $7,000, mm. not realistic. But put that away. If you are noticing your mind is going in the direction that says, not possible, not possible, please, we, we, we implore you. Put that aside and say, if you were given this, if God gave you 7000 every month, what are you going to do? I, well, one of the things that came up for me is, you know, I'm so passionate about young adults and youth, right? I would actually put this money as a seed funding for them to get creative on how they can come up with uh, a project, a company that serves uh, other mm. people of the, in the community. Oh, $7,000. How mm. about you? $7,000, I would do a lot of things. I, would, I'm, I love taking causes. I love learning new things. Um, and that just really means that every time, uh, if I wanted to, to do something, I don't have to sit there and you know, do my budgeting and all that I, obviously it's not being spent with it's knowing that i have that freedom to go here's what i want to do and just be able to put the money inside and do it yeah 
Oh, we've got a few people quitting jobs already. <laughs> no, I want to quit. I want to quit jobs already. <laughs> okay, so what do we have possible here? Okay. Oh, oh there oh, you go. There quit you go. from my <laughs> current stressful <laughs> job. <laughs> Rent an office or therapy space. Yeah. Okay, so if you have thirteen thousand dollars extra every month, what would you use it for? I know what I will use it for. I will send people. I will sponsor people to go for spring planting or like winter harvest, basically to visit the farms. Yeah, mm. people who find it, it, you know, a bit. Uh, financially tight oh my god we just love to bring them there mm. how about you uh, <coughs> I don't know I think by then I would really begin to look at even what other business I might want to invest in I mean it's not huge sum of money but I get some things going <laughs> yeah Diane says sponsor her now <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, possible to take out a course or travel to an exotic dream destination what would be an exotic dream des- destination for you or Antarctica sp- she wants to go to Antarctica. Okay. <laughs> All right. So if you have $25,000, we're going to speed this up a little. If you have $25,000 extra every month, what will you use it for? I'll save it into a new home fund. What's a new home fund? Like you can just go buy another place and like um, without having to keep pulling out from your CPF and whatsoever, you can literally take the money and go, I saw a property over a period of time. You have actually, you know, accumulated the money and just go. Here's the down payment. I want to pay for this. Here's where my family's going to stay. Uh, or it's even possible to invest in a small business. Um, so I think the great thing about Young Living is at some point when the uh, income is coming in steadily, um, I am not stuck with Young Living. I'm able to pursue my, um, my other passions. So, for example, for Kai, she loves art. You know, it's possible for her to start a painting business. At the same time, still have Young Living supporting other people. So, I, I, I love how fluid Young Living is. Okay, $39,000 extra every month. What will you use it for? Possible to invest in another property, help build a school or community for a completely different community altogether. Mm. All right. Fifth, okay, this is the last year, right? I think so. $52,000 extra every month. Mm. Which means if you have two months, it will be $104,000 every month. What will you use it for? Again, notice if your mind is in that zone of detachment because that's our way to rationalize what can be done and what cannot be done, what is mine and what's not mine. So if you're beginning to notice, you're kind of like, switching to Facebook page, looking at something else right now, and your little brain, that little voice is saying, that's not me, you know, let me get there. Maybe 2,000 is about, you know, like really notice, catch yourself, okay? Okay. What's possible? To build a retreat center in the region. Isn't that familiar? Francis Fuller is doing that already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or fund various investments and businesses. Okay. The, the, the video is blocking the title. I cannot see. <laughs> so right now, after having you think about it, if any one of you, um, and please allow yourself to continue this process of asking yourself what that money means to you. We're going to take a very quick look at what all those numbers really meant. Okay. So this is a quick glance of um, young living compensation monthly compensation or commission that's given up this is an average so i want you to know that an average means that somebody can be a little bit lower somebody can be a little bit higher so it's not an exact figure like you draw a salary every month it really depends on the work it depends on the organization that you've built but this is um this is from almost about three to three years three years ago at the convention when they showed the numbers and we basically put out the numbers for you, like Singapore 180 is actually US 140. Um, as a senior star, it's possible to be average earning 190 US dollars, which is Singapore about 240. I think the exchange rate has shifted a little bit, so it could look different. Um, if you're hitting like a silver US dollars, 1,600 plus, that's almost like a $2,000 income every month. And it goes all the way from gold, platinum, diamond, crown diamond, royal crown diamond, um, up until Singapore 52,000. And for all the royal crown diamonds that are currently um, 
in Young Living right now, I know that they earn a six-digit number. So it's way off the chart from this. And many of them... Every when, month. Every month. And every time they share about this, um, they, they've always said that this is, this is just a number that they never imagined that they could have. Uh, some of them were bankrupt before. Some of them um, had been in very serious financial situations before. And to be able to find themselves in a position to be drawing a six-digit figure every month, providing for their family, um, contributing to the community in a very different way, is just it just blew their mind. Now, here's the truth, okay? Here's what we want people to begin to look at. So we, we just showed you the money side of things. And usually there's two possibilities in terms of how people react. There will be a group of people that will just go, wow, this is very, very good. I'm going to do something about this. Okay, that's fine. And then there's the other group of people that's going to go, Is, this money thing is very scary. Um, you know, money is just evil. Um, we shouldn't talk about money so much. Um, again, notice what's your relationship with money. Because it's never money in itself. Money is very neutral. It's the relationship we have with the money and what we can do with it. And at the end of the day, the purpose of showing you what's the potential young living brings is really this. Money is not what motivates us. You may get excited hearing the numbers, but it's, it's really the dreams that we get to fulfill with that gift of abundance that moves us to do the hard work to build the business. If you are just a, a crazy, you know, want to count money all the time, uh, when the business gets tough, and the business can get tough, that's when you're not going to be interested in Young Living anymore. But it's when the questions we asked you just now, with all that savings that you manage to accumulate for yourself or to be able to bring in, what are some, some things in, in, in the depths of your heart that you go, I, I, I never thought in my lifetime this is going to happen for me, but with that income, this is going to happen. And, and that's what excites people. And that's what gets people waking up every day um, and doing the work, doing the sharing, planting the seed, um, going out there to reach out and make a difference to every single person. So we want you to really chew on that. Money is one thing, but what's really behind the money? What, what excites you? What are so, some of these dreams that you have already put aside and you said it's not my life to have this and think about it is there a dream that you're excited about sheena a dream um again you know it's about uh, doing work with the young people uh, and having them see that they can do something about it also so uh, again it's the seed fund uh, for, for them to create something out of it yeah and that's very exciting for me yeah how about you kai um there's tons of things I've always wanted to do. One of the things was actually to be a fashion designer when I was very young. And I put that dream aside because I kind of just decided that's not for me. Um, and really because, you know, I had issue in my whole self-confidence at one stage, especially as a teenager. So, and, and tons of other stuff, uh, businesses that will help um, others in need, that will generate income. And I just want to put in this part, um, which was something that came out from um, a church service that we heard, heard recently. For those of you who are believers who might be tuning in, that um, many of us are actually also called to be uh, kings and priests, uh, not priests, sorry, kings and princes, and, and to be able to bring that income in because that income can be used through you to provide for somebody else in life. So really... Um, do think about this. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go. Um, we're not gonna cover all the, the whole of the compensation plan today. Uh, we're gonna just zoom in on a few to mm. focus. Uh, the few that we're gonna focus on today will support you in building the foundational structures 
for your young living business. Um, now, there is a part of it that, that is new revelation and new insight for us. So even though we're talking about oh, um, basic uh, structure, uh, it's actually a very powerful and uh, it, it just makes things a lot easier this time around. Okay? So before we go into uh, the compensation plan, we need to go through, I'm going to go through with you a few terminologies that we're going to use. Okay? So um, there is a difference between an, an enroller and a sponsor. What's the difference? Okay, so think about this. Okay. So for example, if um, you know, Kai has never used uh, the oils before, right? And then just one day, you know, she, she comes up to me and goes, um, Oh, you know, I heard about Young Living Oils. Uh, can I sign out under you? And I go, oh, of course, you know, I will sign you up. Okay. So now at this point, um, I'm the one who had a conversation with her, right? So when she signs up, I become her enroller. All right. Now, let's talk about the organization. So the minute she signs up, I go, okay, you can put my member ID because I enrolled you. I, I spoke to you. Okay. And then you went, okay, I'm going to buy uh, the Young Living Oils. Now, where I place her in the organization. Okay. So for example, if, um, if uh, I place her directly under me, okay, I'm the enroller and I am the sponsor. Okay. So oh, I'm going to help yeah. you draw, draw it out. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Oh, later, is it? Okay. No, why don't you okay. cover? So, mm. um, sorry, in, in, in that case, if she's directly under me, I am the enroller and I am the sponsor as well. However, if I decide that, hey, you know what? Um, I have my dad under me, but I would like her to be placed under my dad who may be able to uh, better support her, all right? What I'll do is, can you put my member ID as the enroller and my dad as your sponsor? So basically, the enroller is the person who introduces somebody to YL and the sponsor is the person that the new member is placed directly under. Mm. Okay? Now, it doesn't mean that this sponsor has nothing to do. The, the, the minute I put the person under this person, the sponsor has uh, you know, some sort of responsibility to look after the, uh, the new member. Okay? I'm just going to pause for a moment and try to see... Uh if I can draw on this, okay? <laughs> so you guys are staring at our face because it was going to work if we didn't share screen. Oh, then we just switch back? Switch back, huh? Okay. Oh, give me a moment. But I want to be able to draw on that one. Uh, sorry, let me just try again. Let's see what oh. No, I can't do that. Oh, how do you do it, Jessa? Uh, sorry, guys. There's a slight technical thing that we're going through here. Yeah. Can you draw on the other one? Like no, the this is the one. Mm -hmm. um, give us a minute. Draw. If I was to draw. Share screen. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. So it's going to be a completely different screen. That's okay. Okay. Um, so what Shino was talking about just now is this. Let's say this is you, okay? And you have a friend. Oops. Okay, that's... Um, Let's just call the friend A for Alice, Abigail, Elephant. No, it's not <laughs> Okay. Um, if you enroll this person right here, you are directly above this person. So you are the enroller and sponsor. Okay. Pretty much straightforward, right? So you might come along and have this friend. Let's just kind of draw it here. Um, have a friend called B. Okay. And who came to you again and say, I'm interested in Young Living and I'd like to be able to learn about the products. Um, you decide to enroll B. There's a few places of um, where you can put this person. You can, let me see. One option, I'm just going to erase this. Oh. Okay. One option is you can place B over here. And in this case, you are still enroller. 
um, and sponsor. That's one option. This is option. This is really funky. This strange thing is uh, making me type. Well, not type. Draw. Right. Option one. Okay. Option two is you can place this person B. Under A. Okay. And in that case, you are still the enroller for B, but your friend A is now the sponsor because A is directly above B and um, A is going to help you take care of what's going on for, for B. So that's just a very simple explanation. Okay. Let's clear that. And let's go back to this one. We might need to have to just cut out the drawing. And, okay. Okay. So now that we're very clear about what enroller sponsor is, um, we're going to go to the next uh, definition. So what's the difference between lakes and levels? Ha <laughs> this one, we, we, we are, oh no, we are supposed to draw. Okay. So what was I saying? Okay, anyway, so um, lakes and levels. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think we can draw, just let me use this, is okay? Sure. Okay. Okay, so we go back? Yeah. Okay, so you just bear with us for a while, because this is the first time we're using a drawing pad, okay, and we're trying to figure things out. Okay. Because mm. I'm not going to so very straightforward again. Okay. Let's do this. So um, Kai is going to draw um, a rough, small organization for us to illustrate the difference between lakes and levels. So as she's drawing right now, uh, there, there are already lakes and uh, levels being shown over here. Lakes are basically vertical, all right? The vertical columns she's so highlighting now. This is one lake. And in this illustration, you'll be able to see that there's a total of three lakes. Levels are the horizontal ones. Like this. Okay. So over here, you know, um, after me, all right, uh, after the, 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 the top one, I have two levels down. Okay. So that's the difference between lakes and levels. I, I would like to ask somebody, um, are you able to see the PowerPoint slide now? Can somebody just help me out here? Are you able to see the PowerPoint slide now? Oh dear, I can't see. You can't see the PowerPoint. Okay, you only see the drawing, yeah? Okay, cool. Right. I guess we were sharing. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Huh? So you still see the drawing, yeah? Okay, can. Okay, so let me see. Okay, let's make this quick then. Okay, so the next thing that we're this, gonna this is not showing, right? Yeah, it's not showing. Hang on, huh? Hey, where's the? Hello, where's the Zoom meeting? You need to get out of here. Oh, I see. And you need to share screen and choose this. I see. Aha! We okay. have a little bit of technical thing that. We need to learn how to use this to be able to draw on the slides yeah. itself. Okay. Okay. So the next three terminologies, very quickly. All right. PV, what does personal volume mean? Personal volume basically means everything that you buy on your own account, um, that is the volume it is. So for example, I can have an essential rewards uh, purchase of 150 PV. All right. Uh, but in the same month, I bought... Um, another 50 PV of standard orders. So which makes my total personal volume 200 PV. Okay, so basically it's just everything that you buy during that month. Okay, that's your PV. Now, organizational group volume, which we call OGV, is basically everything in your organization, which includes you. So if um, I have me and I have Kai and five other people, right, we're all at 100 PV. Okay, we're all buying 100 PV. So that would mean the five of them times 100 PV, 500 plus mine, 100 PV, it will be a total of 600 OGV. All right, OGV is very quick, uh, it's very easy as well. It's basically everybody else. All right, the next one, personal group volume. Okay, we have never uh, 
heard this extra bit of information before, but we're going to, maybe some of you already know yet. So personal group volume basically means, um, are you drawing? No, can't drink okay. <laughs> Personal group volume, you need to start paying attention to it the minute you are silver and above. Okay? It only matters when you're silver and above. All right. Personal group volume is basically... Wait, Kaya, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, just talk. Okay. Personal group volume is everybody else's volume minus the legs that qualify you for your silver or any other silvers. Okay, this is a bit complicated. We're going to draw it, okay? It's very simple, all right? Okay. okay. <gasps> we can draw on the screen! <laughs> So technology <laughs> makes us excited. <laughs> okay, so PGV. Let's just say you have, I'm drawing over my own notes. As you can see, we don't have a lot of white space. Okay. Um, and let's just say I have these two legs. So imagine that there's tons of people underneath. Okay, I'm not going to draw the details. Tons of people underneath. And this is a 4,000 leg. Mm -hmm. This is a 4,000 leg. Just backtracking, if you know silver, your OGV needs to be 10,000. 10,000. And you need to have two, two legs of 4,000. 4, okay? So these two legs basically are the legs that's going to make you a silver. So when you do your PGV, you cannot include these two legs at all. Okay? On a normal basis, what your PGV will look like is here. Okay? Everything that's outside of the two legs that makes you a silver. The two legs, the two qualifying legs. Okay. So here's the thing. This is what we, most of us actually understand PGV is. But here's the other tricky thing that can happen. I'm going to draw another one here. So same thing. You have two legs. Oh, 4, there 000. are 4,000, 4,000. Okay. Let's just say you are a late bloomer. And there is someone in your organization who is already a silver. Mm -hmm. But you have, you know, only this month you have become a silver. Um, and then you have some other people somewhere else. Okay. So this time around, because this leg, you can't count it. This leg, you can't count it as the volume of the legs that qualify you as silver. You also need to minus this leg that is already a silver volume because they have become a generation of their own. So in this second illustration, PGV is this. Everything that is outside of the two legs that makes you the silver, and you cannot include a team that has already become a silver as well. Hooray to technology and hooray to pen. Okay. To pen. Okay. So, um, here's the thing. If you feel lost about PGV, just watch this video two more times, three more times. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to have to grapple with this idea, but we want you to, to begin to prepare you for it. Remember, it only really starts to matter when you are silver and above. But you want to begin to understand this concept um, so that you can build properly. Uh, Diane has a question that just came up. Uh, she asked, will this be calculated by the virtual office or do we need to calculate manually by itself? Um, you can go to the virtual office and yeah. click on the downline viewer uh, and you can hover over PGV and it will show you um, how, whether it's shot off or whether you have hit the PGV required for that rank. Cool. No need to manually calculate. Yes. Okay. But you need to understand the concept of it. Mm. Okay. Got it. Yay. And okay. why is it important? Because same thing, your organization rank qualifications often depends on it. I'm going to give you an example. So there was one time Kai, right? Uh, she, she had the OGV and uh, she had the legs for uh, diamond. 
right, for the diamond rank. Yeah. Uh, but the one particular month, I think it was like the last day or second last day, she didn't have the PGV to uh, qualify for it because somebody's uh, orders didn't go through, right? Mm. She could have just completely missed out on the diamond rank and dropped all the way down to just being a, a, a silver or something like that. Okay? Uh, okay. Next. Let's move on. I love pens. I'm just saying. Repeats. I love pens. Now, we're just looking at these without going to details. Um, this is downloadable from your virtual office so that you can see the detailed compensation plan. Um, and I want you to take a look at it because this is where things like your PV, your OGV, PVGV appears. Notice distributor to executive. This PGV thing does not show up at all, right? And they just tell you the qualifications, like executive, your total volume is 4,000, you need two legs of 1,000. Mm. We're just showing you a very quick run through. If you go to this section, which is um, silver to platinum, this is building leaders, you begin to see that under PGV, your silver rank, your gold rank, your platinum rank, onwards all needs to maintain a 1000 pv outside of all those other things that qualifies them okay so this is just to let you see and this is diamond to royal crown diamond here's the thing um it's easy for me to say hey i don't need to show you this page right now if you're starting out but i've really picked this up from some of the american leaders that when you first start out um building this business start with an end in mind nobody wants to start this business and just be a silver right 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 <laughs> right nobody wants to <laughs> okay um nobody goes oh it's okay to just get silver we all want to in our heart even if we don't say it we all want to be able to be a royal crown diamond okay no matter how long that takes so start with an end in mind because if your mind does not have the concept what is required there's nothing to bring you there. It's just going to be a concept. So be okay to turn to this page of the compensation plan and look at it and go, wow, I never knew this, you know, but a diamond needs to be, you know, to have 250,000. Some people at this point is already gasping for air. And they're going like, where am I ever going to find this volume? Same thing. Hold it there, stop going to judgment, stop going to conclusion about whether you can or cannot. Just take in the numbers neutrally. OGV, 250,000. PV, PGV, 1,000. I need five legs, 15,000. A crown diamond, I need six legs of 20,000. And a royal crown diamond, six legs of 35,000. And just sit with it. And just be, okay, that's at the back of my mind. I can deal with that. Okay? We're going to talk about this concept very quickly called the empowering tree. Um, we used to work on this, but we didn't have a name for it. And then um, I kind of also picked this up from some other leaders and really began to think that this is something we need to drive home and teach people how to do this. Let's take a look at what this really means. Okay. The power of three. Help three enroll three. You're going to personally enroll three person and each of these three people help them enroll three. When we say help them enroll three, it is not, I find a three person and I placed it under them. It is have a conversations with this three person and, you know, kind of ask them, does it um, help them if their monthly purchases is being offset? If it does, and they found that they love the Young Living Essential Oils and they like to share it with at least three people, this can easily support them to cover their entire month purchase. Okay, let's look at some numbers. So let's just take a look at this first column, number of people on level. So if it starts off with me, there's just one person, okay? On my level one, oh, this is where I'm going to get funky and draw again. I love drawing. Okay. Um, look, I can change color of my pen. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. 
let's just see. This is me. Okay. If I go to my level one, over here, level one, I have three person. One, two, three. Okay. That makes the total number of people in my group now four. Okay. Including you. Yeah. One, two, three, four. If all of us are each purchasing 100 PV each, our group volume right now is already 100 PV here. 100, 100, uh, uh, 100. That really just means my group volume is already at 400 PV, okay? Remember the concept is I'm helping this, I next need to help each of these three people enroll their three. Okay, so when I do that, do you realize that on level two, okay, this is level two, this is level one, okay? On this level, I have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine people. My group organization is right now 10 people. And just by helping three person, enroll three person, my entire group volume is now going to be 1,000 OGV. Do you grasp the concept of this? It's, it's really multiplications and it really is going fast. Um, because a lot of times when I first talk to anyone about... Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually the hand is right. What? <laughs> okay, uh, I, okay you shift this over. Yeah. Actually, I realized... Um, so, hang on, huh? Yes, you're right. The total number of people inside oh, is so smart. You see, bonus is a lit. Yeah. I wish I can give you a free eye. <laughs> <laughs> smart yeah, girl. Okay, you're listening. Very you're good. right. So in the end, uh, the, the total OGV is 1,300. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're so smart. Now I need to change my slides. So if you were to just... Um, okay. Uh, as I'm looking at this, as, as Kai started to draw, I suddenly see it as a whole structure. All right, I see it as like, oh my God. Oh, okay. Sorry. I suddenly look at it and I go, oh my God, that's like 13 people. But don't look at the 13. Look at the three and then focus on each one. All you need to do is to get three people, each one as you're interacting with each one of them, just enroll three. All right? Don't, don't see it as, a, as, as one big hole. Yeah, because when you see it as one big hole, it's a lot, right? Just like seeing 250,000 OGV. Okay. Diane's so smart. She's a... Uh, so I... Clearly my, I don't pass my math. But yeah, so I want you to see that, okay, subsequently my math all wrong. Mm -hmm. But the whole idea is the multiplication. If you keep going down these levels and everybody is committed or is doing the whole idea of helping three person and roll three person, you just need to be at level five and your volume is way over 20,000, okay? And that's... You know, you really need to take a moment and sit with it. Because a lot of people, every time, like I say, I talk to them about um, building the business and I show them the earlier slides, what's the OGV required, what's the legs required. Their first reaction is always, oh, you cannot do it, you cannot do it. So difficult. Wow. You know, I, I want to. And what two person now, I was so like, hey, heck, yo, you know. So, so people are constantly just stressed out. But the idea behind this is take this concept and teach every person. And I'm going to show you how the numbers will stack up in a moment, okay? Anything to add? Shinalim? No. no? Okay. Let's see. We're going to look at two of the bonuses today, the fast start and the rising start bonus. In some of these concepts, the three and row three is going to integrate in there and you're going to see how the numbers come up. What is fast start bonus? There's two parts to fast start. The first part is as an enroller, you earn 25% of a new member's order. Fast start bonus is for the first three consecutive months of a new member. Okay. Again, let me just quickly draw this out. Okay. 
So you just need to enroll a person. If this person is buying 100 PV, that's 25, oops, sorry, 25%, okay, of 100 PV that's coming to you, okay? And that will look like USD 25. $25, okay? So when you first enroll this person, let's just say um, person A again, this person's first month of uh, buying, you get 25%, second month of buying, 25%, third month of buying, 25%, straightforward, okay? The second part of Fast Start Bonus, when you enroll someone, and then remember the whole idea is we want to teach them how to enroll somebody else as well. You want to teach somebody to fish and not just do all the fishing for them. Okay. When they enroll someone else, because you are helping them grow, the company sees that it is important that they reward you as well. So they're going to give you 10% of this other person's purchase. So she's going to draw right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So there's, oh. so there's you. <laughs> so there is you. Mm -hmm. And you enrolled your friend A. So whatever A is buying, remember, you get 25%. 25% of that 100 PV. Okay? Now, when A, you help A, remember you're supposed to help A enroll a person? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the whole idea. If A is enrolling a person, and let's just call this person B, A technically, what do you think A is going to get? I know. 25% of whatever A buys. Okay. Right? Or whatever B buys. So A right now is also earning. But on top of that, okay, let's see. On top of that, the company says, hey, because you are helping B, we're also going to give you some bonus. And in this case, it's 10% of whatever B buys. And let's just assume it's 100 PV as well. Or easy calculation. So right now, because you have helped um, A enroll person, you're not just earning 25%, but you're also earning a 10% mm. from the second level. And same thing, it's for this new person's first three consecutive months of membership. Here's the really cool thing about Young Living. They believe that it doesn't matter when you start to help somebody. The minute somebody is willing to enroll a new person, they will always want to give you a bonus. So in this case, let's just say this is March 2016. You managed to enroll your friend, okay? Um, ideally, you would wish that your friend would share and be able to enroll somebody else in March 2016 or April 2016. But your friend is the get easy, the letter. Okay. They slowly, slowly use, but they are kind of really steady user. And let's just say it's only in December 2016. Um, your friend A finally introduced to their friend B. It seems to have been such a long time. And by the way, uh, this is just what I'm saying. It can be uh, 10 years later. August 2020. Okay. It doesn't matter. Whenever A starts to enroll somebody, guess what? Company still gives you this money. Okay? Um, this is how generous they are. They, they want to recognize that you've been there, you're still helping this person, so it doesn't matter when it is, I'm still going to give you the money. Cool. Okay. Now, let's move on to how do we combine things together. I call this the Empowering 3 plus the Fast Start Bonus. Recap. Empowering 3 is the idea of helping 3 person enroll 3. Okay? Fast Start was the part where we talk about 25%. So 25 plus a 10% if your new, friend, uh, if your new enrollment enrolls somebody else. So let's start with the idea of you here. Okay? 
you enroll a person A with 100 PV. Straight away, remember we had illustrated this earlier. You get a 25% fast start bonus here. If you, if you enroll another person B, again, you earn another 25% fast start bonus. You enroll the third person C, same thing, you will still earn a 25% bonus. So the total amount that you could potentially just be earning from fast start. By the way, fast start does not equal to all the money the Young Living is going to give you. This is just one tiny, tiny, tiny little thing amidst the many commission and bonuses that Young Living actually offers. Fast Start was designed to help somebody fast start, start <laughs> fast, start fast. So as you are starting in the beginning, um, you don't always see money suddenly, okay? And sometimes that can be depressing for people. So the company says, I'm going to give you a higher than usual bonus. Then you might feel like a little bit more excited. It helps you to sustain your purchases. It helps you to buy those extra little samples that you want in order to share. So this is what happens, right? For you. Moving on. Remember, coming back, help three person and roll three. Okay? So you're helping A and roll one, two, three more person. When that happens... We have in the second box over here for A, B, or C, these are your members. Their fast start bonus will be exactly the same for you. If they are the ones who are enrolling these new people, they get the same USD $75 or Singapore equivalent of about $102. So they will earn that. But here's the thing. So everybody's enrolling three. For you, remember... When this person enrolls, company pays 25 to A, but company also pays 10% to you. So you have an additional fast start bonus for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine person. Counting it as 100 PV again, there's an addition of 90 US dollars. If this is all happening, what you earn from fast start bonus by helping three person enroll three is $102 plus $122. That makes a total of $224. So imagine this. If you're someone who's really on the ball, okay, and really going out there and rolling and helping others uh, make the money back for themselves, in a typical month, at least for the first three months of um, this new member, you're earning $224. If you're spending 100 PV, 100 PV in Singapore is about Singapore $180. Your, your $224 more than offset the $180 that you need to spend every month. And this already covers your expenses. And if everybody maintains for the first three months, the first three months just means that you're getting all these awesome Young Living products without having to pay for it. Okay? Isn't that really cool? Okay. Now we're coming to another one which is called the Rising Star Bonus. I need to be completely honest with you guys. I used to think this was unnecessary. Yeah, trust me. I... Because I, I was not familiar with it, I built my business without the Rising Star bonus because it didn't exist at that point in time. So when they first introduced it three years ago, I looked at it and I was thinking, nah, I'm just going to teach everybody to do the same thing that I've done. Okay? Um, I have to say a couple of people really helped me begin to see the light in this. One is Faith. Faith is watching this right now. Faith teaches this to her organization. And I used to sit there and go, oh, she remembers the rising star bonus. My goodness, I can't be bothered to remember it. Okay. And then just recently, some of you might have watched Monique McLean teaching the Young Living Compensation Plan. Um, remember, compensation plan is not something that you can get off just 
one time. Even today, I'm still learning new things and I, I must allow myself to sit down and listen in order to catch new things that I've never learned before. When I listen to their teaching on compensation plan, it was like God just turned on this light bulb and said, did I not tell you that it was important? That this could really help somebody new solidify their business? I sat down, did the numbers, okay. And then I'm like, I have to tell you guys about this. Rising star bonus, okay. Um, this chart, in fact, was from Faith as well. An extra opportunity to earn more and create long-term sustainability for your YL business. You can find this in your brochure. The compensation plan brochure. Yes, your compensation plan brochure. A couple of things I do want to quickly highlight um, in this particular bonus. One is it's only paid to you if you're a star, senior star, or executive. So if you're above that right now, you're silver. Mm -mm, sorry, you're in another leak. You're drawing on other different bonuses. You have to have 100 PV and it has to be essential reward order. Has to be ER, no standard order, okay? Um, now, they've drawn it this way. Really cool. I'm going to show you how Jay, uh, sorry, not Jay, Jake Dancy um, had shown us when he was teaching. And I really like the way, oh, sorry. And I really like the way he had taught this. Rising star bonus. So for, for those of you who are silver and above already, uh, even though it may not be applicable to you, uh, it's important to take note of this so that you can teach your downlines. Yeah. Okay. So the way Jay, Jake did this, is he drew it as steps. Your lines are so straight. I'm an art student. Okay. And he drew it as step one, step two, step three. You have to get onto step one, then the next step. You can't jump steps, okay? So at step one, you need to have three legs, of 300, oh sorry, well PV or OGV, OGV. correct, yeah. okay. How that will look like in your organization is, remember how we start off just now and rule three, the whole concept? Okay, they could be, if you, so just imagine this, if they, each one of them, you had helped them and wrote three person. In this lake, if we're talking about 100 PV each person, that's like one, two, three, four. You already have 400 PV, okay? 400 or OGV over here. It's more than your 300 required. Um, so same thing. Let's just say if somebody only has two instead of enrolling three. That's one, two, three. That's already 300, okay? And over here, some, you have helped this person also enroll three. So it's also 400. So this is literally the first step over here, okay? And why is it once or step one? You get one share out of this. Um, there is a commissionable uh, value, total value, sales volume, and Young Living actually has divides this share out to all the different stars, senior stars, and executive that qualifies for this. Averagely, you're looking at USD $50. Average. Okay? So if you follow the enroll three and help three enroll, you are already at step one with all this. And you're earning the extra bonus over here. Okay? Now I'm going to change the color just to illustrate this a little bit better. Okay, step two. This is when you need to have another two legs. Each of the two legs need to have 500 OGV. Now, how that looks like is clearly you're not going to enroll two legs all of a sudden and make them have 500. You're going to be working on these legs See, this one is already 400. 
This one is already 300. If you're helping them, they will grow into legs of 500 volume. But how that will eventually look like, okay? I'm not drawing the process, I'm drawing the end product. So you're gonna have like people going downwards, okay? And 500 or more volume over here. So this is step two. By step two, you should have three legs of 300 plus two legs of 500. When you do that, Young Living gives you one plus two shares. So now you have a total of three shares. Three times $50, that's USD $150. Okay? Last step for this one. Okay. The last step requires you to have two legs of, ooh, that's like a strange color. I hope you guys can see it. It just says green. It didn't tell me it's lime green. Okay. Two more legs of 1,000. So how that will look like is, ugh. I'm drawing this out in a strange way. Imagine you have two legs of 1,000. Obviously, their volume is like they have a... This is my drawing. I like to draw funky organizations. Okay. Uh, they will have a group. And they obviously came from you grooming the, the first people that you started. By this stage, you have... Three legs with 300, two legs with 500, two legs with 1,000. Right now, everything adds up. One plus two plus three, you have a total of six shares. And that is going to, it's going to be the equivalent of USD $300. Okay. So this is um, what Rising Star Bonus is about. Let me just take a look at, uh, I think, she's, she's, Diane's got a question. I'm just going to pull the screen out for me to see this. I, uh, sorry, wait, what's going on here? So she says, if at level one, instead of three times 300 OGV, um, and you have, uh, oh, one leg of 300, two legs okay. of... Yeah. Very good question, Diane. You have one leg of 300, uh, one leg of 300 and two legs of 500. That is still going to be one rising star yes. bonus. So you can, you can exceed, but the company can only still give you one. Yeah, you're right. Very so good. you will get one level, uh, one share of rising star. Yeah, you're right. Just going to see notches one. I built my first three legs just to get the rising star bonus. These three legs later help. Help her. Oh, oh okay. She's making a comment. Yes, yes. Why else genius, okay? But here's the thing that I also want to show you why this is really important, okay? Because when you do this, um, let's see. You have already prepared for yourself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven legs. And what do you need for Royal Crown Diamond? Anyone remembers? How many legs do you need? Don't for tell your, me seven. For your Royal Crown Diamond. <laughs> what are you, how many legs? Exactly. So Royal Crown Diamond, you just need six legs. So we always call the seventh leg an insurance leg. Okay? You don't want to just build six and then, you know, things don't turn out well. So they, they have put this into a thought process and say, build seven, and once this foundation is laid, you are ready to go. On top of that, here's the funky thing. If you work fast enough, okay, this could look like month one, this is month two, this is month three, 
Now I'm referring to those who likes to work fast. For somebody who likes to work fast like this, this is almost like the executive in three program that Young Living has just created. Okay, in three months, you're gonna find that you have over here 2,000 volume. You have over here 1,000 volume. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to control the pen. You have over here 900 volume. If you add that all up, that's 3,900. Not quite 4,000, which is required. So executive, for those of you who are familiar with it, executive requires you to be a solo of 400, oh, ooh, 4,000. Oh, sorry. This pen is getting funky. I don't know why it's going. Oh, GB. 4,000 OGB. 4,000 OGB plus two legs. <laughs> off. Why? I'm trying very hard to write this. I, I know the, the pen is bigger to write an Egyptian yeah. hieroglyphics. Okay. Um, no question. Two legs of 1,000. If you look at this structure, let me just answer, uh, let me just explain this. You already have two legs of 1,000 over here which fits into your qualification for executive. And your total here, 3,900. And this is all based on 100 PV. And we know for a fact that people aim for 200 PV per most, 250 PV per most, 300 PV per most. So if you have people working this system, you're way past 4,000 OGV, okay? Question that we have there. Your downline must recruit to be a leg <laughs> um, okay, Ethel just correct us if, if, if uh, I'm wrong, okay? <coughs> I think uh, what Ethel is asking is, for example, um, it says over here three times, okay, so for example, it says over here three times 300 OGV, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think she's asking, does it need to be um, three of them need to enroll people or can it be these three people just 100 PV, 100 PV, 100 PV? Yeah. Is, that, is, is that why you're asking Ethel? That... Yes, you could. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, they can, let's just say, oh, whoa, what happened? Down. Down. Oh, ah, it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, Ethel, you just, <laughs> you just let us know if uh, maybe you could just uh, be a bit more specific in your questions. Yeah. Uh, to be a late, a late for, to, to qualify for what? Um, 300 okay. OGV or something. Okay. But that's our idea. Um, so when you guys go back to see the video, you're going to see the picture again. So don't panic, okay? Uh, we're going to continue and move on. So that's the whole idea. If you really work with your um, rising star bonus, you put in a solid foundation of seven legs. And the minute you're working fast, you will be doing your executive in three, your silver in six. Somebody's drawing on our screen. Um, Stop drawing. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I don't know how to remove their drawings. Oh, okay. It's okay. So, so whoever just drew on the screen, could you just erase it? Ah, away? Thank you. Are. We don't need to know who is it. Just whoever it. you may be. <laughs> okay. Let's, oh, let's just move on. Um, and I want to very quickly just show you this. Moving to silver and beyond. If you look at section two of your compensation plan, this is where the silver, gold, platinum ranks come to. You will see the PGV, okay? But what's really important is that this whole thing, generation commission is going to come into place. It's um, the secret that never registered in my head when I first attended a leadership seminar in Cook's Island. There was a top leader who says, get to silver, get to silver, get to silver. And that's all I heard. At that point, I don't understand. I was like, what are you talking about? And all I remember was she says, silver is where you're going to find your income just coming in really fast. Because you have things like the Generation Commission over here. This is not the session. We're going to talk about this in detail. We're going to come up with a second se session that's going to focus on silvers to platinums. But I want you to know, this is additional and it only appears when a person is silver and buff. And the other thing that happens is when 
you notice over here, if you're a silver leader, you get one share of this generation leadership bonus. This is completely different from earlier on your rising star bonus. This, bon this bonus, one share is about 150 US dollars. If you're gold, you have two shares. That's 300 US. If you're platinum, that's three shares. But that's not all. Here's how it works. The idea of helping someone else succeed in this business is very important. You need to help people in your organization grow. It's a win-win deal. When they think about this um, entire thing, they've always wanted in these, to design this, then you're going to help somebody else in your team grow. If your team has two silver, so you're silver, you have two silver. Just based on generation leadership bonus, I'm a silver, I'm getting USD $150, but because I have two other silvers in my group, it's $150 USD times two more. So a total of $150 times three. I'm getting three shares altogether. Does that make sense? So the more leaders you have, the more shares you're going to get. That is why somebody's income can grow exponentially because they can have a team and have like 20 silvers, okay? Every silver counts. Okay, this is the part. Um, so we're pretty much done with the technical part of explaining bonuses to people because if you're fairly new, this is where smoke is coming out from your head and you're like, wow. You know, I just heard a lot of things. And we want you to be able to just chew on this and understand this slowly. We're going to jump into what Young Living is providing in the backdrop right now and what we are providing in the backdrop to help people work this business. You would have heard the Elite Express program, okay? This is a Young Living one. Um, but the graphics is done by Kuyu, our business manager. So when you start off as a star or senior star, these are your volume. If you achieve executive in three months, because you're a brand new star or senior star, you're going to be able to get an Aria diffuser, a 5 ml peppermint, 5 ml Idaho blue spruce, 5 ml ylang ylang, a Young Living branded portfolio, a total of 424 US dollars. Okay. And here's the thing that I want to just stress about this part. Uh, we had, early on, draw this out. Okay, your rising star bonus, remember, when we were talking about this. Okay, this is three times 300. This is two times 500. This is two times 1,000, okay? This is going to, if you, earlier on I had mentioned, if you are starting brand new, you can work this in month one, this is month two, this is month three. And when you do that, you literally get, by the time you have this, you are at a volume that qualifies you for executive rank. Um, so for any new members that you have right now, or you yourself is brand new, have never been a star or senior star at all, and you want to, you know, get this reward, this is the strategy. I can't think of any other better strategy. Follow the um, rising star bonus, build your team, help people enroll, help them to enroll other people. And this, do this in month one, month two, month three. Okay? And this is silver and six. So once you become a an executive, over here you became an executive, you have six months to become a silver and you have to just maintain executive throughout. This is what you're going to be able to get, exclusive collection of 30 bottles of 15 ml essential oils and a Fitbit charge. What is that? <laughs> and a Fitbit charge. What is that? Okay, la. so long as it's attractive to you, I have no clue what that is. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at what's a fit beat charge. Okay, um, this is silver and six. Remember, it has to be a brand new executive who will qualify for this. 
go in six, six months to become gold. The reward in Singapore, one year supply of art skincare system, laundry soap, hat. They think your house needs cleaning. Okay, they're giving you everything free. Okay, oh, but, 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 but there's a gold iPad mini. Okay, um, platinum in five, you get a premium aroma complete. 120 or more 5ml oils. That's your own um, aroma complete set. Plus diffusers, a whole range of diffusers. And if you and a Brenda luggage, yes. Um, and Adrian is telling what us what is. <laughs> it's a step tracker with heart rate monitor. Thank you, Adrian. Heart rate. Maybe uh, that's I, what I, HR stands for. Thank you, Adrian. I'm fine. What is that? Okay, thank you, Adrian. Um, <laughs> Elite Twenty is if you start us start off as a newly minted star. And you take only 20 months to get to your platinum. On top of all the other goodies that you've received, okay, you're going to receive all of this, uh, which is an additional 1,000 essential reward point and free registration for the International Brand Convention. Okay. So this is the point where people uh, came up to us earlier on and said, but I'm no longer newly minted. I've been a star for very, very long. Or I've been an executive for like six months. Or silver for two years. Yeah. Gold for real long So time. all this, I cannot take part, is it? Um, and we sat down and thought about it. And then we decided that, hey, because you are part of One Drop, we're going to support you to find ways to breach into this program. So we came up with, ta-da! Elite Express Jumpstart. Very long name, huh? E-E-J-S. The idea behind this, if you look at this, okay, we know that people who have stayed at their rank for a very long time or have dropped below their highest achieved rank. So you might have achieved silver and then dropped down to an exec or a senior star. And because, they, because that happened, they are not considered newly minted. So they can't take part in the YL um, program. So starting from March 2016, those who are eligible have up until June this year um, as their latest month to get back to their highest rank. So the EEJS program starts whenever you re-establish yourself in the last highest rank and then you begin to play the same way. Either you do it EI, uh, sorry, EI3, SI6, GI6, or a PI5, okay? Let's see the example down here. Sally has reached the rank of silver earlier on, but she dropped to a rank of executive. In the Young Living program, she's not eligible to take part until she reaches her silver again. Oh, sorry, until she reaches gold rank. Yeah. Then she can play in the Young Living um, then PI5 yeah. program. Yeah, so you see, so, so in this example, Sally would have hit silver previously already and then she dropped, right? So to qualify for the Young Living Elite Express, she, if she hit silver again, she cannot play for gold because she's been silver too long already. Yep. She is only qualified to play for platinum when she hits gold. Yeah. And, to, and, and, and in actual fact, right now, right, she's not even silver. So, so it's a very long way to go. Yeah. So people are telling me that they feel, mm, you know, a little bit, discouraged that there's nothing there to support them. So what? here's what we came up with. March is considered, March which is this month, is considered month zero. You have until June as the last month. In this case, Sally, she can work her way back into silver by June 2016. Imagine you could be an ex, um, you could be a, a executive as a highest rank but drop down. Same thing applies for you. You have up until June 2016 to work back up to your executive rank again. Audrey, yes, this is only for one droppers. We are not... No, I, can, I can sponsor this gift to the whole world. So this is <laughs> only for one droppers, okay? Um, so Sally gets back up. Let's just say she really took up until June to get back up to silver again, Okay. She has to maintain silver all the way. Now she's playing in the One Drop exclusive program. She has six months to become gold. 
okay? The last month being December 2016. She has six months. But while she play, she has to maintain the rank of silver. Silver, 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 all the way. When she reaches gold, December is her first month. January 2017 is the second month. February 2017 is the third month. And she maintains it three months in a row, her new rank. She basically has jackpot, gotten herself to go in the Elite Express jump start. So this is what she's going to get. Okay? Um, go in six. Oh, let's just run through what we're giving. Executive in three jump start, we're giving a life science publishing voucher of $100. You can go spend on books and whatever you need from... Uh, LSP in Singapore. Silver and six, you get a $200 voucher, and then you're going to get a 20 times 5 ml essential oils kit. That's about $1,000, $1,001 value. On top of that, because you maintain your silver rank three times, you get to go for your silver retreat. Go, you get a $200 voucher plus an 11 inch MacBook Air. Don't play play. If you do that, and three months consecutive in gold, means that you go to Wild Silver Retreat in Utah and the Wild Gold Retreat in Idaho because you've actually followed through your trips. If you've already gone before, okay, one of the trips, obviously you don't qualify for it again. PI5, you get eight bottles on Ningxia Red plus. Don't play play again. 13-inch MacBook Pro, okay? Total value, 2,100 Singapore dollars, um, plus all the other retreats that you're supposed to get. So we've only just managed to email out to the silvers and the golds above individually about the Elite Express. We put this up in the Facebook, not everybody could have looked at it. If you know of somebody who's a star uh, or a senior star who has been a long-time executive. executive and would qualify for our Jumpstart program, please have them get in touch with us because we'll love to tell them how they can make it work in here. Okay? And so, look, we're really trying to help you guys win this. There's a question from Diane. Okay. So she says, so in this case, for Sally, if she becomes silver again in March, uh -huh. then the clock starts counting from March. Yes. And then six months, September to hit gold. Yes, that's right. So the March to June period is, it's like a bonus time for you. We're, we know some people have dropped down in rank tri drastically. So we say, hey, we're going to give you this time to work your business up again and go back to your last highest rank. Yes. So whenever it is, if they hit back up in Earlier. March, April, their, their clock starts. And they've got to maintain the silver until, until they, they hit gold. Hit gold. Or earlier. Yeah. Thank you, Diane. Okay, we're about wrapping up everything. Okay. Yeah. So we're pretty much um, 9.30 right now. I'm going to wrap up. So very quickly, I'm going to just show you the last bit of slides here. So some people may begin to ask, Ah, yo, how do I put all this together? This, by the way, is an example, okay? I don't want you to go, this is the only way to do it. I want you to look at this and plan and work something out for yourself. This is an example, month one, if it's a completely brand new person. Give the person month one a chance to just attend classes, build their own experience of, um, the classes can be online, can be, you know, in-person classes. Help them to get resources like the Essential Oil Pocket Reference. There's something called the Missing Link CD. If, if you guys have never heard of the Missing Link CD or have never heard it and it's like stashed somewhere, you need to listen to the Missing Link CD. All right, if you ask me, it's even better than the EOPR or anything that I've ever heard. The yeah. Missing Link CD um, is, is Gary talking. Yeah, it's a really cool one. Okay, so the first one, let this new person, you know, before you launch them out to enroll people, let them have an experience. You want people to fall in love with the products. This business, we've always said, it's not a sales business. Yes, there's the number side of things, but at the heart of it, 
it is helping someone find a place of balance in their health, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual. Help people find that. So you don't force somebody to enroll. You help the person fall in love and see how they integrate the products into their life. Okay? And once they're ready, we're assuming month two, they could be ready to enroll people. This is where we say aim for rising star bonus step one. They could be looking out for three person to enroll. Okay? And after they have enrolled those three person, help those three person enroll three. Remember what we did before just now? The three plus three to three. Now I have a yellow box here. Paste it out to more months if you need. Not everybody wants to go for the elite program. Okay? The elite program is for people who wants to move fast. Uh, which is I'm sure all of you. And, and at the end of the day, we respect every person's pace that they choose. If they choose to work fast and they give us permission to coach them, we coach them at that speed. If they go, you know what, I'm going to take 10 months to enroll three person. It's please, okay. Please know that we still love you. Okay? You can do that. Mm. Um, but we want to give you an idea how to work that fast. Yeah. And month three, get working month, which is actually considered the rising star bonus step two. Okay. I'm going to draw it just to, uh. thank you, Nocha, for replying, Alice and Diane. Okay. So over here, you have this person. Enroll three, and remember, helping them enroll three, this is the step one. Okay, we have that, remember that step process, one, two, three. Okay, so this basically is step one of the Rising Star Bonus. And then in this month, you want to be able to add two or three more person mm. to your first level. This is what it means here, to your first level, okay? And help them enroll three, three, okay? By the same time, this should still be growing. This shouldn't suddenly stop, okay, guys? This is where the idea of leadership is really important. In this business, you teach people how to fish. So you're always going out there showing people and you teach your people to show other people. If they enroll three, the money that they get back covers everything that they have spent in the first three months. Okay? So do that. And then when you move to month four, it's pretty much the same. You enroll two more in your first level. You help them enroll three. Everybody else is still growing on their own in your other legs. Month Oh, by the way, notice I have this thing called host a sharing session. Everything written in blue is personal development. When you're doing this business, you have to learn how to share. You can't always, at this point, you might invite your upline to teach, but the following month, you want to be able to co-teach. Your upline does half, you do half. There's no thing as, oh, I can't, I can't, she can teach better. I'm just going to sit there and let her talk. Now, if you're the enroller, you need to catch yourself as well. If your downline is asking you to teach all the time, there will be a point where you need to let go, even though you can do it. Yeah. And then eventually, this is the blue part again, in terms of leadership development. We want people to um, really grow. By then, you should be hosting your own class. And if you feel that you want to, Invite your upline to sit in. Like, they're, they're literally sitting at the end of the classroom. You do the teaching. Say somebody asks you a question that you have no clue. You can just say, hey, I've got, I've got Sheena. Uh, I've got Notcher at the back of the room. Um, I'm not sure about this, but can I ask Notcher if you, if you know the answer? Okay? That's how you grow as a leader. So this is really just an example of how you can get things going for yourself if you're brand new or how you can help somebody very new start out a plan for themselves. Okay. And that's it. Okay. It's a lot, but not a lot. So we kept to fast start, 
Rising Star, Rising Star, which are built foundationally on the idea of arrow three and help these three arrow three. Okay, um, these are the key things we want to solidify in this first session that we have. Once we do this and we record it, watch it again, segments that you don't understand, fast forward, watch it again, you want to grasp the concept. I know it's a little bit over time, I'm just going to stay on for another three to five minutes. Anyone has questions right now? Do you want to type it out or you want to raise your hand? I'm going to do the stop share yeah. so I can... So, uh, for those of you who need to go, you can go now. Um, but we're opening up the next three to five minutes for questions and answers. Yeah. So, uh, if you want, you can just type in into the group chat or you can just raise your hand and or just, just, just ask the question verbally. Yeah. When you raise your hand, I'm going to unmute you so you can ask the question. Yeah. Okay. Anyone? Yeah. Da, da, da. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So Audrey has asked, so basically I can invite my upline over to watch me share. Um, okay, you, you can invite, it, it depends because I don't know who your upline is, right? Um, uh, not all uplines are interested in building the business, so you need to, um, of course, ask your upline and be okay if your upline doesn't go. Um, of course, if your direct upline doesn't want to go or support you, right, uh, look for the nearest silver, the, the, the next leader that yeah. is higher up. It is not a master. So just to say, a lot of people don't. Yeah. Um, it's not a must. I'm just saying if somebody is learning how to share and, and they feel like they want to build up their confidence, so in the beginning, they get their outlines to do it. At some point, when they want to do it, they find it helpful to have their outlines sitting in the, in the class. Yeah. But understand that outlines are human beings. So one of the things that I've realized is people sometimes judge their outlines a lot. Like, hey, how come this outline don't want to come for my sharing? They, they, they do not have to. Remember, yeah. uh, the, the, the beauty about Young Living is that this is run as your own business. Yeah, okay. So Diane has a question. We can only do either Elite with YL or Elite Jumpstart uh, with one drop. Yes. Not both of us in them, correct? Yes. Yeah. You're not going to be overloaded with presents, okay? Yeah. So the idea behind... Uh, the, the JS, the Jumpstart program, is to help those who cannot qualify immediately to play in the YL program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Any more questions? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> hey, uh, wait, before you go, guys, thank you for being here today. Uh, it is our privilege to be able to do this with you. Okay? Yeah. Any other questions? You can, like I said, you can raise hand if you want to raise hand. What is that? Will the video be posted? Yes. We're going to convert it. We're going to put it on YouTube and then the link is provided in the Facebook group. Okay, cool. Cool. Any other questions? If not, I am excited that you guys um, are here. Like I say, if you are not sure whether you qualify or not for the jumpstart, please email, okay? Or my email is kai, K-A-I, at onedrop.sg. Email me uh, with your member ID so that I can check out your past history and then I can tell you exactly what's going to help you qualify for Jumpstart or not. Yeah. Okay. Go and spread the news about uh, Elite Express Jumpstart, okay? Because it's already March already. So we want people to get on board as quickly as possible. You may spread to everybody that you know who's a one dropper. Okay. Yes. Hello, Anger. <laughs> okay. How can I grow my knowledge in Young Living products? I'm in Penang and my upline is in Singapore. Ask Caroline. Um, there are lots of... Uh, Caroline, can I just ask who is your immediate um, upline? When you say your upline is in Singapore. Serene. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, we're we're going to be doing online classes. Get online. Watch the videos. Get yourself essential, uh, what's that? Essential oil pocket reference book. Um, these are very, very useful. Trust me, in the past, we don't have many classes in Singapore either. The way I had learned myself is every time somebody asks what oils to use, we're just flipping books mm. when we're looking through. Um, there is also another... There is an app that you can download. It's yes. called... We'll tell you what it's called in a bit. <laughs> can you guys see? Oh, I'm no, trying I cannot to see get you. Into into it. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Reference Guide for Essential Oils. Okay. Reference Guide for Essential Oils. 
you can download that app. Uh, it gives you information as well for what to use for what. Yeah, okay. Um, Kim has um, asked any level from start onwards. I'm thinking you're asking about the Jumpstart Elite Express Jumpstart. Uh, so Kim, yeah. write to me and so I can figure out what rank you are at right now and whether you qualify for the Jumpstart or whether you qualify for the YL program. Because uh, yes, it starts from various levels depending where you are at. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And someone in Connie says, thank you. Very convenient. Yes, we, we've been enjoying doing the online classes. What is FTWM? Full-time working mom. Oh, the superheroes. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys just spending time after work to listen to others. Um, and we want to find ways and means to make things still available for you. At the end of the day, live classes are always fantastic because you get to try out products especially. Um, and I said this before in previous online classes, um, live classes is where I can answer everything that you want to know. So if you have a question about condition, etc., because we're in private setting, it's possible for me to talk one-on-one -on -one with you. But because we're recording all these things and we're, we're doing online, um, for the compliance issue, I can't. We just have to be very compliant. So still make time for classes. They are valuable, very valuable. Thank you, Enga, for being online. Yep. Um, thank you, Faith. Faith thank you, Faith, for getting us clear about the coffee. Yes, <laughs> Faith has always been an inspiration. She just kicked our butt and said, yeah, yeah, you can understand it this way. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up, everyone. It's 9.45. Have a very good rest of Thursday evening. Thank you. Bye, Jane. Bye-bye. We'll see you guys around. Yep. Yeah? Bye.